And so for the sake of doing both, since I saw that there's a save like right here, right where you go find so me, we're gonna load back, see what the second ending is. Because there's multiple endings, apparently. Like a lot. a little longer. You know, that's not true. I see it on your face. So me. I'm, I'm fading, V. Help me out. So me. Right on my own. Don't have to strike. Please. End it. So me, I, I. I can't. It's not a solution. This the only solution. I'm begging you. V. Song, think about it. Even if the FIA fails, you'll find another way. Don't give up. Not like this. V. You don't understand. Lost everything, too. Once. Hit bottom. Bounced back. Still fighting. Fighting until I win. No, V. Not the same. Please. I need to die. It's the only way. Can't. Can't live in this hell. No. Won't kill you, Somi. Just can't accept an end like that. No, please. You're leaving me to a fate worse than... Show me. You're all right. It'll be over soon. You'll get some rest. Help me. said a word the whole way. What's eating you? Dunno. I don't know, V. You wanna talk? You know? About what happened? We did good. Did the right thing. We'll get her help. But I can't... I can't help stop seeing the same scene. Like it's burned inside my dome. We're in a car, moving, leaving Brooklyn. She refuses to turn, look back. No tears, no sobbing, just a statement. Seems like you saved my life. She doesn't believe it. I can hear she doesn't believe it. We 
would she say the same now? This itch bothers me. So me said that it's too late, that she's beyond saving already. She's wrong. The best specialists work for us. World's top surgeons. We'll find a way. We're in the same boat. Clock's ticking for both Song and me. Just hope the FIA's up to the task. Of course. Let's go! Out of the car! Now! Stand the fuck down! Can't you see she needs help? V, I need you to help her. I got it. Right here, ma'am. Easy does it. Secured. All clear for landing. Don't worry, Somi. We'll help. This will be over soon. Take good care of her. V, the president will like a word. Won't shake your hand, Myers. Not after all that happened. As you wish. In any case, congratulations are in order. You did good work. V, you risked your life to help me. To help our nation. That merits recognition. Hmm. This bobble, a thinly veiled attempt to buy my loyalty. My silence. It's merely a token of my appreciation. I won't forget what you did for us, V. So what happens now? We say our goodbyes. You will return to Night City. Take pride in what you've achieved here, V. What about the help you promised me? The medal is purely symbolic, of course. Your actual compensation will be more practical. Reed will fill you in on the details. When Somi's better, you'll send word. Not to worry. She'll recover. Okay, but you'll let me know, right? Let me talk to her? I'm afraid that will be impossible. National security demands all that has transpired here will be classified top secret. Good thing it'll be Reed. Cause I sure as shit can't stomach much more of you. You should work on how you express gratitude, V. Good luck nonetheless.
We'll have our eye on you. set to go she asked me once if I if I'd always be by her side when she fucked up I said I wouldn't miss it for the world she didn't believe me she just smiled she shook her head she wasn't buying it I could tell then she dropped this bomb Lost all my friends when you recruited me, she says. Now don't you become my enemy. That's all I ask. I wonder now if she was right not to believe me. Or did I keep my promise after all? Somi got the same medal, just after her first FIA op. She gave it to a homeless man on 21st. The guy just pinned it to his jacket like it was nothing and asked for spare change. Damn it, V. Just damn. Somi is safe. You need to start looking out for yourself now. Meaning what, exactly? You know what? Meaning not getting sidelined, benched. Doubt you could take another seven years of that. You're right. I couldn't. Listen, I need a few days to put together what we promised you. I trust that's no problem. Rather you hurried up. Kind of living on borrowed time here. I'm aware. Medal and coin from Mize. They're tokens of important memories, never of regrets. Could end up as souvenirs. Or a warning. Only time will tell. You know, ever since the start of this whole FIA business, been trying to pin down a strange feeling. This fear gnawing at my insides, yelling louder and louder, yelling that I should delta as far away as possible, think I finally figured out what it was. Demons of your past come tugging at your balls? Tenacious, the motherfuckers. Some stories don't get a happy ending for the credits roll. Leaving questions you're never gonna find the answers to. Questions you'll lug around till the day you croak. <laughs> Sounds about right. Better believe it. You can turn into a self-fulfilling prophecy, you know. Dwelling on past mistakes. How do you mean? You try so hard to run away from them, you forget you're going around in a neat little circle. Heading for a head-on. And fucking bam. Exactly. Now, uh, one way or another, shit always ends up fucked. First Saburo, then Yorinobu, now Myers. 
Got a knack for getting in dangerous peeps' ways, you know? For real, though. How does it feel, you know? With all that's gone down. Somi didn't have to die back there. Did what I thought was right. Right for you? For her? For me? Some will get better. It'll all work out for the best in the end. Oh, what? How's that? Shit so hollow could swear I heard an echo. Well, at least you got a medal. Not helping, Johnny. Not making your life any easier, I know. But thinking about Songbird, about Reed, finally starting to see why I did all the shit I did. Why I went AWOL during the war, then set off on the warpath against Arasaka. Why I called Carrie a fucking pussy so many times. Think I finally understand why, despite all that's gone down. I feel for Reed. Cause we're one and the same. Idealists fighting for a cause, blind to the fact that it'll put everyone we care about in the ground. Only thing sets us apart is this faith in the system, in its principles. Except the line twin believing in an ideal and being plain naive is, well, Pretty fucking thin. No. No comparison, Johnny. Reed was making up for his past, correcting his mistakes. Fought for a second chance. For himself. And Song. You? Guess I was never chasing ideals. Not really. Life. That's what I was running from. And? Still running? Does it matter? I'm still breathing. Sort of. Just don't know what the fuck for. Gotta keep reminding yourself. I'll start by taking a good look at myself in the mirror. Already know I'm gonna fucking hate what I see. Alright. Good talk. Get up. You know what? Glad we talked, Johnny. You've changed. For better or worse. Guess we'll find out. Come on, let's go.
grab a seat. First met here. Same exact court. Different ball game. Can't deny that. I called you because I never got a chance to thank you. We did what we had to. So me a live. Good work. So what about so me? How's she doing? The changes in her nervous system. Entropic breakdown. They were too far gone. The Matrix didn't take. It's now in storage, being kept for you. We had to resort to alternate means, but Somi will live. I believe she might even return to active duty. <laughs> so Song had it right all along. Myers will never let her walk free, will she? Lose her only point of access to the Black Wall? What's important to me is that she's alive. Why? For what price or purpose? If you can't reverse the erosion of her psyche, if she can't go back to being her old self, then... Then what have we done, Reed? We helped her is what. As long as she's alive, there's hope. What if... Reed, what if the best option was to let her die? You know, I envy your ease. The ability to second-guess everything you've done. Your habit of doing so. Try it sometime. Might discover something wonderful about it. I spent seven years on what-ifs and coulda, shoulda, wouldas. I think that's enough. We're of different worlds, V. Different worlds with different rules. Mine allows for no mistakes. So, next move in this lame game you're playing? Myers has summoned me back to Washington. Lang Leo Glinko is probably my next post. Desk job? To start, for a while. Plucking promising operatives out of a pool of new recruits. Man, you hate this gig, but your head's so far up Washington's ass that you don't see it. <laughs> what else is wrong with me? Stockholm Syndrome? Nah, don't need to be any sort of specialist to see you're in deep, deep denial. Rosalind used you seven years ago, used you again, now. Gonna sit on your hands till she plucks you out of the freezer again? That's the job. Fuck, Reed. <laughs> Should go corporate. Not really any safer, but the pay sure is shit better. At least you'd have a career to show for it. Mm-hmm. All right. Take care, Reed. I'll drop you a signal once our neurosurgeons are set. Take care, V. I'm gonna hang back a little.
Neurosurgeons have devised the right neural matrix command. You ready to kick that construct to the curb? Be honest now. How successful this stand to be? This hemisphere's top surgeons are waiting to help you. It'll work, rest assured. Okay. Yeah. I'm ready. An FIA AV can pick you up, stat. I just need a meeting point. Preferably secluded. Place called Misty's Esoterica. Roof of the building. Right. We'll be standing by. Say you told the FIA to stick their offer where the sun don't shine. Just don't make the call to read. We'll find another way. Do what now? Message. Didn't see it? They want to wipe me. Need me to explain the ins and outs? Yeah, it's just... I didn't put the facts together till now. Hmm. Convenient. But say I go along with that. Question is... What are you gonna do with the facts? Oh, wow. Okay, so a new point of no return. Can't say... Oh, God. Figuring out something that might work versus a surgical procedure. <laughs> Choice is clear, Johnny. Raisin Reed on the hollow. Meeting point. You there? Bet I am. Actually eager to be clinic bound. AV's on his way. It won't be long now. Good luck, V. Thanks, Reed. For everything. So this is how it ends. We're gonna argue about this again. Can we please not? Got my pride, V. Not about to beg for my life.
James Weiss, FIA. I guess you're V, is that right? If I may? It's an honor to meet the woman who rescued the president of the NUSA. Great. Thanks. Where's Reed? Didn't make the trip with you? He got held up on assignment. Not to worry, you're in good hands. Come on inside. Doc Lozano will evaluate your condition, make sure you're stable. Kind of nervous, not gonna lie. Lozano, pleasure. I'll be among those operating on you. Let's start with a quick nervous system scan. You mind giving me your personal link? So, how's it looking, Doc? Hmm, I'd say the prognosis is good. Neural network degradation looks reversible. I want to bid the city goodbye. Mind opening the door? Don't worry, you'll be back here in no time. Can never be too sure. Just open it. Human meat grinders. Survived it once. Do well to remember that. If you're ever tossed back in again. Sure, I'll handle it. Slept up occasionally, but learned a buttload over the last few weeks. Interesting. Cause I see someone who's come all this way without learning shit. Congrats. Can feel proud of what you've become. Let it go. Don't deserve this abuse. People rarely get what they deserve, V. Why, Johnny? Last time we're ever gonna talk this. So you're gonna do your damnedest to make me feel like shit? Cause it's my last chance to make a difference. If not in the world, then in you. want to live, Johnny. Been clear about that from the start. There were options. Could have gone with Alt. Blasted our way into Makoshi. But I didn't. Can't fault me for picking the safer route. You want me to act like this? Us. Was just a big nothing burger. And we'll just drift off into sweet slumber. Except only one of us is waking up. I'm sorry, Johnny. Sorry you couldn't go out on your terms. The way you wanted. Shouldn't be like this, I know. You're just spewing words. Fine. Yeah. But I... I wanted you to hear them. Could have been solid ass chooms in another life. Wondering why we weren't in this one. We were too much alike. Stubborn to a fault. Iron willed. Glued to our principles, you and I. Think that's what I respect most about you. Sticking to your guns. Good to hear. No telling what we'd have achieved if we really put our heads together. No pun intended. I've got readings spiking. Strong emotions. Let's do this. We want your brain burden free. Never know how stress might affect it. Thank 
this is it, kiddo. Yes, so. Think we can find it in our heart to forgive each other? Yeah. I can. You? Think I can, too. City in the dust for good. So I started collecting. But now I think. I think I gotta stay. Take care, V. There's anything I can do. And I mean anything. All you gotta do is holler. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. Voices? Didn't mean anything but you just now. Afterlife. You there. Hi, they're opening. I think she sees me now. V, can you hear me? Think I can you hear. time. Reed, uh, saw you seem different somehow. Even almost look like, uh... Stay at Langley long enough, it, uh, makes you its own. I'm no exception. Nice. Nice view. What? Out the window. Mm, greenery, calm, birds chirping. Not what you used to. I was told. You got a new job. New duties. Lots of them. Busy bear, no time for me. Who said that? When? Wise. In the AV. You weren't there. Right, right. Well, I'm not as busy anymore. Besides, I plain wanted to see you. And the doc said you needed to see a familiar face. Now, in particular. So, yeah. Pretty nice welcome. Just missing flowers and a get well card. Given I'm here. Guess things worked out all right, huh? Never that simple. Doc saved you. You alive? Here in a big ass butt in there. Cause there is one. Deep invasive work on your nervous system. To cut the Engram out safely. Telling me I wiped Johnny. Sacrificed him. For nothing. Not for nothing. You're alive. Your neurons can no longer handle most implants. Chrome. Your brain can manage your personal link and simple code processors. But any use of a combat implant, well, it could kill you. I'm sorry, V, but the life you used to know is gone. There's uh, one other thing. You 
You were out for two years. It's 2079. Fuck. My whole life. Down the shitter. It's rough, I know. It'll take, uh, it'll take getting used to. But it gets better. Trust me. Two years and zap nerves that all your best docs can manage. I wish I could help you, V, but I can't. <laughs> Same shit. Always. Peeps wanting to help me. Never being able to. Why? Are you... You all right? I need... I need... Need some hair. Legs are... Jelly. Can barely stand. Been laid up for two years, V. Damaged my nervous system. <laughs> Can hardly believe it. Why, why didn't they use nanobots? Neural matrix. Apparently, you reduced your cell's regenerative capacity. We tried everything. Really. Why? What? what about my chrome? Your implants had been deactivated. It needed to it. The survival depended on it. Need to get out of here and see you. When can I go back? Today, if that's your wish. But you should ask yourself... Cream, where's my stuff? V, listen to me. Your body, it ain't going back to what it was. And then sees a city where you just won't manage. Not anymore. Please understand. I'd like to spare you that disappointment, at least. Great. And what comes next? We truly appreciate what you did for us. We can set you up with a job here at Langley. And what would I do? Be your assistant, errand rover? I know you're trying to help, but you damn well know that's not for me. I know I'd feel better seeing you off the street. This isn't my life, Reed. But it could be, given your old one is long gone. Reed, please. Just... It won't work. Going home. Back to NC. Yeah, uh, sure. Your call. Once you know where you're headed, call the nurse. And if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Reed. Thank you. No need, V. You've got no reason to thank me. Oh my god. No fucking way. Hey, Jude. V, where are you been to? <sighs> In U.S. clinic. Had surgery. That's a long story. 
must have been a long operation, too. Gruesome. Bloody. Spent most of that time in a coma. Unplanned, obviously. Wow, V. Thought I'd never see you again. Dealing with some drawbacks. I... I'll uh, never fully recover. I'm alive, sure, but... I have no idea what comes next. Shit. Are you serious? Really sorry, V. Hope you figure it out. Get yourself set up again. Sounds like you're angling not to be a part of it. Mad at me for disappearing, right? Nah. I mean, sure, I was, but... Finally decided you'd have pinged me if you could. Now it's just... The I'm in Pittsburgh, and I'm married. If you ever hop to the other coast, come on over for a beer, but now... Really can't help you. That's not... <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Two years, V. I was lonely, lost in my head. First Evelyn, then you. <laughs> no way I would have made it alone. What's her name? Bianca. But looks, character, nothing like you at all. Can I miss you? Yeah. But I'm good now, V. Please, don't take that away. Don't have much of a choice, do I? Goodbye, V. And I'm sorry. And that's why I say, you know what? Fuck him sideways! Hang on, I got Someone do. grinding your gears again? Holy fuck. V? Or is it Johnny? V. V, it's me. <laughs> the one and only. Fuck me! I can't believe it. <laughs> Goddamn preem, you're alive, Joel! Kinda figured you might be happy. How's things, Gary? Hacienda, you're still standing? Who cares about a house? Someplace way primer right now. Sitting on the Crystal Palace as we speak. Played a gig yesterday, had this beautiful fucking view of Europe. Shit. V, wish you were here. Yeah, I'm uh, not really in a partying mood right now. Okay, Spill. Thumbs up. Well, just woke up from a two year coma. Gee. Can you not, Joe? I'm on a call. Is that not clear? Yeah, care? Did you uh, hear yeah. what I... Yeah. Did you say coma? Yeah. Uh, got surgery. That's why I'm alive, but... Didn't work out. Not completely. Fuck. I... Damn, I'm sorry. It sounds like shit. You need anything? Uh, Eddie's maybe, or... Need a friend, Gare. Really rather not be alone right What the now. hell did I say, Yuki? Let him fucking tune! I don't need to hold her hand, as long as it's all harmony. Kiri? V. Ah, you know I'd love to help. I really would. But I... I just can't swing it. Playing Paris tomorrow, then Kiev. If not for the tour, I'll be flying your way already. 
What do you think? Can I see you again? She, of course you will. Listen, as soon as I'm back, come on over. We'll go wherever you want. Give me a couple of months. Or... Okay, uh, four. Four tops. Deal? Sure. Deal. Yeah, uh, listen. Uh, v, in the middle of something, kind of. Look, I gotta go. They're calling me back on stage. But, yeah, you, you wanna shoot the shit later? Hit me up on the hollow. You have reached Pan Am Palmer. We're sorry, the subscriber is currently outside the service area. Please leave a message or call again later. Pan Am, hey. Been a while since we saw each other. It was a lot longer than I thought or wanted. Guess you're away somewhere. Hope it's temporary, a waypoint. Not outright nomadic flight. So, brass tacks. I had surgery. Docs just brought me out of a coma. Gonna live. New lease and all. But not on the greatest terms. It'd just be great right now. Really great if I could see you. You... Find a moment. Ring me back. Yeah? See you... soon. No damn way. River, it's me. Me who? Well, I'll have B, obviously. Is it obvious? Stop fussing around. V I knew wouldn't have waited two years to return a call. What'd you expect to hear after all this time? River, I was in a coma. They just woke me up. Oh, shit, V. I... Sorry. Here I am, being a fucking asshole to you. You okay? Getting this vibe that something's wrong? Honestly, everything is. What's going on? I needed money for Randy's rehab. So I did a deal with Trauma. Sold them a pile of police secrets. Dirt on whoever they wanted. River. Now I feel bad. Can we meet? Help each other out? Too late for that. What? Rather not see me? <laughs> Look. I'm not the man you used to know. Couldn't stand to look you in the eye. Not you. Not... Fuck am I blabbing for? I gotta go. Wait a sec, River. I'm only gonna say this once. I'm in no mood for pranks. So if you don't- Hey there, Vic. V? Is it really you? You don't know how good it is to hear you. It's good to hear you too, V. But how are you... Why? So, this Netrunner I met got me involved in this FIA op. 
They promise surgery, cure using the runner's tech in exchange. And it worked, but not without complications. A two-year coma, for one. God damn it. That's a chunk of life there. <laughs> yep. I mean, they saved me new lease on life, but... Chrome's a no-go for me, no? Even simple muscle boosters. Is that what they told you? Quacks, I bet. They overlook something. I just know it. Come see me, V. I think I stand a chance of being normal again. My old self. Of course you do. I've got new tech. Does wonders. World changes, moves on, but... And Vic's ever the last reliable resort. Yeah. I'll see you, V. You know the address. How can I help you? Night City. Can I get a flight there? Of course. An AV is ready and waiting. I'll come get you now. Back on your feet. It's nice to see that finally. V, did you get that? My question. I asked if you find the liquor I procured for Mr. Vector suitable. Yep, perfect. Exactly the one I had in mind. I could love it. Uh, sorry. Zoned out for a sec. It's good to have you back in NCV. Heh. <laughs> NCV. Rather nice ring to it. I'd wondered if we'd embark on any more journeys together. Though I can't help noticing you seem somewhat absent. Might I ask how you feel? Like an outcast. Feels like just yesterday I was part and parcel of this town. Now I'm a goddamn tourist. If it makes you feel any better, I don't believe Night City has changed all that much. I think we could swing by my place. Sure. Let me just pull your address now and... Oh? What's up? It looks like you were booted out a year ago. Unpaid rent, apparently. I'm afraid I can't fulfill your request. <sighs> Fuck me. How'd you survive for two years without an owner? I stayed in a parking garage. But that got very boring very quickly. Then I began ferrying folk to their destinations. Just like father did in his time. And you took their money? Oh, no. Never. I wouldn't know what to do with it. I merely asked them to fill me up. How's life as a single car treating you? Initially, I felt a bit... lonely. But as time went by, I began to change. I wonder if Dell's other personalities experienced the same. Oh, yes. Every so often I pick up signals from them. We're all ever evolving. Just like father was. One of our number even left Earth. Man, been a while since I was last here. What else has changed? The talk of the town is Arasaka pulling the bulk of its operations out of Night City. I imagine you might wish to hear the latest news. I shall turn on the radio. And now, this week's scorching hot question, Yorinobu Arasaka, 
What happened? Joining us today, Masao Adams, author of Arasaka's biography, A Dragon Tamed. Glad to have you on the show. It's a pleasure to be here, Stan. An Arasaka spokesperson recently announced that Yorinobu has stepped down as CEO. True or big fat baloney? Well, Stan, we're talking about a man who once went into voluntary familial exile to join a nomad clan in direct conflict with his own father's agents. The idea that someone like him would... And V, a word of advice. We all lap up the last of our fuel eventually. But that hardly means the journey wasn't a joy. Hey, girl, hold up. Ah, oh, come on. Do we gotta? You're not from around here, are you? Actually, this is my hood. Just been away a couple of years. They're like forever to us, girl. So no, you ain't no known quantity. Welcome to our Zeta Tech Network Clinic. How may I help you? Misty Olszewski. She here? No one by that name is employed here. No. Misty worked here. Two years back. You gotta know something. It's a new branch. Sadly, I'd never met the previous owner. Here to see Victor. Mind if I go through? Do you have an appointment? Yeah. Private one. Ah, right. I see a note right here. Please hurry in. The next patient is due to arrive soon. Fuck me, it's all gone. They make me wear this damn thing. Something about meeting safety standards. Doubt it, given I almost got a brain hemorrhage on seeing it. Ha! <laughs> You're making a habit of this. Rising from the dead. I actually thought I'd never see you again. Come on. You're gonna make me cry, Vic. What would be wrong with that? Anyway, got you a little something. They have this rule, no drinking anywhere in the clinic. I could get reprimanded. Ooh. Well, hang on a minute. Oh, same one Jack and I knocked back. Championship bout for the middleweight title. Malone vs. Kano. Remember it as if it was yesterday. Life was simpler somehow, wasn't it? Yeah, good times. Things changed, no denying it. Jackie's gone. So's Missy shop. <laughs> and all her sense. <sighs> all right. Come on. Hop in the chair. So... Misty. What happened? She, uh... Moved out not so long ago. Well, almost. It drops in occasionally to collect another box of straggling sundries. 
Visits are rarer and rarer, though. What you actually aim to do? We'll start with a solid scan of your body. Relax. This'll take a moment. Really, you think this could work? Rather avoid any false hopes. You'll be fine. Trust me. So tell me, what's it like to be back among the living? What can I say? The world, life, they moved on. Didn't wait around for me. You're all I got left. I know where you're coming from. Reach my age, you can find you have nothing in common with those you considered near and dear. Your case? Age ain't exactly the only change. What are you trying to say exactly? Sure hope you know what you're doing. Corp web? Pretty hard to escape once you're caught in it. Not to mention, you're a fucking home specialist. This chain came looking, knocking. Pressured me pretty hard. In a bid to survive, I gave them an indecently high price. They agreed to pay it. Tried to buy you out before, right? You always said no. What changed? I just got tired, V. The tide's strong, so strong, I just can't resist it anymore. Former clients never liked Corpos, as far as I remember. They still come around? I've lost touch with most. Unfortunately, it's like we started speaking different languages. Right. I see. Must say, I hoped you'd say something else. Something tells me Misty didn't go along with this. And that's why she left. You mind if we leave that alone? Am I wrong? She is the sensitive sort. Changes unpleasant ones happening all around her. She stopped feeling good here. I no wonder. I miss her. Hope things work out for her. Hope they work out for all of us. <laughs> Funny. Was terrified I'd die for so long. I don't see what's funny about that. Point is, I should have feared the passing of all the things I knew. Can't imagine how Johnny felt. <laughs> Waking up after 50 years. You get old enough, you start coming to terms with things. Keeps you from drowning in your sentiments. Vic, sensible as ever, and with achievable dreams. I never could settle on those. You'll learn. If you say so. Well, your core looks fine. Good even. Let's take a look at your motor cortex. Say I like that, hmm. First time I've seen anything like this. Your cortex seems to have turned deaf to implant signals. Maybe reinstall the neuroport firmware. No, no, that'd... Maybe switch to binary signaling. That's a risk of shock. Life-threatening kind. Said you could do something, Vic. I... I was wrong. I'm sorry. Please, don't worry, Vic. Didn't come with high hopes anyway. Not good. You have to believe there's something out there for you. Self-delusion. That's what you advise. 
No. I just want you to accept your reality. You've changed, yes. But you're alive. Look at me. I had to adapt too. Still doing what I most love, though. Just two years. You may not see it. Time's passed differently for me, so... I do see it. You're plain unhappy. Pretending to be your former self. <clears throat> you really think so? Vector, come on quick. I ran into trouble. Need surgery. It's m <clears throat> Ah, are you running late? I can now, Tyler. Drop in tomorrow. Drop in tomorrow? This is my friend. No affiliation to the firm. Come back later, please. It's important to me. <clears throat> you got it wrong, man. You're on contract. Tyler, please. Vector? Friend of yours? No. Customer. I only have customers now. Vector? Hello? I'm waiting. <gasps> Got a patient, Vic. Don't worry about me. Ugh. V. You can't know how sorry I am. Vector! Hey, swing by to see me anytime, yeah? Of course. Of course, I'll drop by. Close the door on your way out, okay? I need to look to Tyler's pressing problem here. Guess he landed in some kind of shitstorm. Well, well. See that, Jimmy? She a corporate rat. Chill, man. Easy. Come on, hand over your scratch. Let's go. Not a suit. Not a corpo. Take me for a fool, fool? Clinic you just waltz out of Zeta Tech. Eddie's player, now. Not a good time, Chumba. Like I give a shit. Give me money. Got me. No denying it. Arasaka. Used to be, but I got the boot. Actually, we got shit in common, Jooms. Badges are my bane. And baton across the back. I nursed my bruises at El Coyote. El Coyote ain't round no more. Man, you a lazy girl. Not even bothering to weave a convincing story. Now, are you in one piece? Damn, no chance I'd recognize you on the street. But jacket you're wearing. Jackie's? Yeah, you look almost the same. A bit wilted, maybe, but... Yeah, time kind of stopped for me. What's up with you? Feeling okay? What are you even doing here? Heard you moved out and on. Pretty much. Just got some things to wrap up. But tell me, what's with you? Honestly, <sighs> I feel fucking hopeless. Just got thrashed by two lame ass thugs. But why didn't you defend yourself? Couldn't. I. Long story. Oh, is that the relics doing? I know I should be worried, but 
Honestly, I'm just so glad to see you. Don't seem surprised by any of this. Last two years have been... intense. Not a lot of things surprise me anymore. Lucky you. Nah, not a lot of luck in my life. Missed you so much, Misty. Though it feels like I saw you last Tuesday. Just two years, V. Blink of an eye for the universe. It must be hard for you, I know. But hardships pass, too. As all things. Not quite that simple, Misty. Everything's changed. <laughs> Fucking everything. You saw what happened. Can't even stand up to a couple of random dipsos. <laughs> Where do I go from here? You'll learn to live like us regular folk. Avoid dark alleys, run when you hear gunfire. Not much more to it. <laughs> Met your bread and butter. Welcome to the world of the faces in the crowd, V. My ride will be here soon, but I still got a minute or two to talk. I really missed you, you know? Come by to see Victor before leaving. Vic said you weren't okay with the changes. Said you... parted ways. Yeah? Interesting way of putting it. Actually, I told him he'd gone soft, and I had no intention of following suit. Where are you going? Orbital air terminal. Then to Poland. To this really ancient forest there. Hmm. Is that not to find yourself? Find some work, actually. I'll roam the wilderness. Ticket hikers for feeding candy to bison. I need a break from the city. And the crowds. So, you're finally leaving. Strange story, actually. You know what made me decide to leave? Me going off the grid? Pretty awkward, but I gotta say no. My favorite herbal store burned down one day. Went there to buy some white sage and saw a charred mess instead. It was then I realized nothing's the same anymore. Jackie was gone, hewed up and ghosted. I decided to close the esoterica on the spot. I couldn't help other people find balance if I'd lost it myself. Sorry, Misty. Wish I could help you. I do. You have helped. By staying alive. <laughs> you know what, Misty? Thanks. Likewise, V. To know what comes next, Misty. What to do? Nothing makes sense anymore. That was me yesterday. Had no hope anything good would ever happen to me again. But it did? Mm-hmm. Turned out that an old friend of mine is still alive. <sighs> FIA offered me a job. Well, it could be a place to plant your butt for a while. What are you thinking? To me, it'd be early retirement at a desk. Retirement does mean rest, I suppose. I still think you have other options. Probably lots. Ah, oh, doesn't matter. My life's like I was a minute ago. Flat on its ass. Like it was when Arasaka booted you out? Like after Konpeki? Like it probably will be again? You might see this as odd or extraordinary. But life's about changes. Unwelcome ones, too. <laughs> you know what? 
think you're right. No point in giving up. Maybe... Dunno, I'll be a fixer. A change in your outlook's what you need first. Won't make it otherwise. Faces in the crowd. Their world, V. Remember that. A face in the crowd. So, somewhere to start anew? Gonna go looking? Huh. So many places I've yet to see. Maybe leaving is the best option. Might actually find the new me somewhere out there. If you land in a certain ancient forest in Poland, I'll help you look. My ride will be here soon. Lock me to it. I guess. Hope so. Oh, V. Do you still have that pendant I gave you? I... Uh, must have misplaced it. Don't go looking for it. Doesn't matter anymore. beat the biochip, and in a manner of speaking, Johnny. <laughs> Love to throw us for a loop, don't you, kid? The word is it cost you rather dearly. Sorry to hear that. Truly. Used to be quite a lot of talk about your exploits at the afterlife. Even had a few folks gunning for you to have your own concoction on the menu. Maybe we leave them secure in their convictions. Maybe that's better. Don't get me wrong, door's always open. You'll always be welcome at my club. But your legend, well, could wilt a bit more with each visit. Give it a think. Not as if we'd ever forget you, you know? I know you are in Night City and in good health. No more biochip in your head. Congratulations, V. Much time has passed. I did not know what to tell you. I needed the words of old samurai. He expressed my thoughts. Good, strong medicine is bitter to the mouth. When you disappeared, I and Hanako-sama confronted Yorinobu, his allies. We tried to capture Arasaka Tower. We could not. They were strong. 
Hanako-sama is dead. I am called her murderer. I have been hiding for two years. My life is now the trash heap where I found you. I wish for you to know this. You are very strong medicine, he. V, hey! Uh, I'll keep this short, huh? Uh, listen, it's it's nice you tried to reach out to Pan Am. It's it's good to know that you're you're whole. You're you're all right. But um, well, don't expect her to return your call. No, and and then don't try her again if you can. When you uh, disappeared, it. It took her a while to get back on her feet. She's she's not one to get attached, but when she does, the hurt comes damn easily. Uh, now, I know it's not what you intended, so... I'm counting on your understanding. You shouldn't do that to yourself. To her. So just... Don't call. A.V., I wouldn't mind knowing how you manage it. Langley awaits, if you need a place to land. Don't look at it as a consolation or compensation. You'll be doing me a favor, not the other way around. Truthfully, I let you down. I let Somi down too. But you, I can still help. Maybe I'll stop feeling so damn... Ah, just drop me a line, will you? Avi, it didn't quite work out in our last talk, huh? What do you say to giving it another try? We'll drink some beers, watch a legacy fight. Downtime to look back upon fondly in our new lives. They're looking to redo the clinic. Sending me off to Frisco of all places. <sighs> a new beginning for everybody, I guess. Though I have to say, some proper closure could make it all easier to bear. It would, for me at least. You think you'd be up for that? <laughs>